Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Yes, today we are again in a different location. I have gone through every corner of my house to figure out where I can film this. So this is where it ended up being. Today we are doing something that I asked you guys about if you wanted to see it and overwhelmingly said yes. So today we are doing a try on haul, a Zara try on haul. So I ordered some packages and it ended up being a little bit more than I thought it would be. It came in four separate packages. I have decided to do a live try on haul with you. Now this does not mean that I'm going to address and undress here. I will dress and come back and comment because I figured the best way to give my honest opinion is by being here when I try it on and telling you what I think. By the way, if you have noticed, my hair is a little bit darker than uh, last time I was here. It is a little dry on the bottom, so I really have to figure out how I'm gonna take care of this. So I'm going to try the first thing. Okay, so right away you can see there's no black, <laughs> which is very surprising. I feel like I'm not myself. Okay, we are starting with this beautiful, oh, I'm very excited I'm having this the first thing. I saw this dress on Instagram and I fell in love with it. Now, everyone that knows me is going to think you will never wear this in your life. I probably will not, but if it looks good, I might. So I'm gonna go try it on, okay? I think it's a maxi, but let's see. Okay. <laughs> I am not going to open this because it's too open for me. I think it'll be beautiful if you have no boobs, but for someone like me, this is too much. I'm just gonna hold on to this. The fit actually is very nice. It has a very nice plastic waist. The color is very beautiful. I think I like this better now that I'm a brunette. I don't think I would have liked this on with blonde, but I still don't think it suits my skin tone. Everything that I'm naming, by the way, I am linking below so you can review it all later if there's something that you will buy. I don't think I'm keeping this. The next thing, which I am excited about, I hope this will fit. I got it in a size medium and it is $29.95. Everything is in euros. I do like the quality of this. It's a little bit thicker than the one from Mungo. I have the black version from Mungo that doesn't have the elastic band. I had it on my Instagram as well. That one is a little bit thinner. So this really does feel quality wise a lot better. It does have the same suede lining, so that is a good thing. Let me go try it on. First impression, I love these pants. However, I do think they're a bit large for me because I know it's elastic and they are supposed to feel comfortable and they are super comfortable, but especially in the back and by my legs, there's a lot of extra fabric. I will post here where you can see it better. So I do think a size smaller will be better also by the feet area because right now it's a little too loose, but I love the color. The color really suits me. And I also like, it's quite thick. So you really, I don't feel like anything is showing, but yeah, I do need this in size small. It looks like I'm wearing someone else's pants, which is not <laughs> what we want to look like. And I am very excited for what came out of here. This is something that I have been trying to get for the longest time. It was on sale. It says here that it was 40 euros, but it wasn't. I think I paid like 20 for it. And because it was on sale, the size medium was sold out every single time. I'm telling you, I was on Zara's website every day, maybe five times a day. The good thing is with sewed, when I woke up to eat, it usually came online. So around 3 a.m. Dutch time is the best chances to get it. I don't think it'll look good on top of this, but I do want to try it on right away. So it is like a baggy, distressed version. The bottom is it's like it's torn off. This actually what came out last year, I believe. Oh my God, I can't get this off. Let's see if it fits. Well, this fits. I mean, it does not look good with this outfit at all. I like it. I also like the length. It's perfect for my arm length. It's not too short or not too long, but when I have my arms down, it does cover my hands, which I like. I do think this is a perfect staple piece, especially if you're like me and wear a lot of high-waisted pants and shirts and dresses and everything. This will work fantastic. So I am keeping that for sure. The next thing I'm also very excited about, but I'm also kind of nervous because I don't usually order pants from Zara because jeans are usually too long for me, so I don't do it. But I really like these. These are the high-waisted jeans with the split in the leg on the bottom. Yeah, these are for sure too long. I can already tell, but we're gonna see. And they also actually look really small. I mean, who fits in that? Wait. Yeah, there might be a chance that I don't fit in this because it doesn't really go in that comfortably. 
they're way too long. The split starts at the end of my foot, so the whole design of this pants, if I were to keep them for myself, would disappear. I'm going to add some very sad colors nice and the fit is comfortable. The price was good too, it was $29.95. I got a size 38. This is too long. <laughs> I don't understand, is everyone that much taller than I am? I've seen so many girls wear these pants and they don't look that tall. So something's going on. The next thing I have is another pair of pants that are probably going to be too long for me as well. Now that these were, oh, and I actually don't like the material. No, I already don't like it. The stitching is already getting loose. That's disappointing. Anyway, I'm still gonna try it on, but these were supposed to be the legging material pants and then have like, you know, the zipper. To split open so you kind of have the same split idea I'm still gonna try them on and show you but I can already tell you also from the quality I don't know if you can see but I mean I wouldn't want this on my butt so not only are these pants too long I also can't close them so let's just move along to the next pair of pants okay I am very frustrated with these a tip if you have a little bit more of a behind like I do. Try to find pants that the zipper to close it doesn't start here because if it's here that means you have to zip it over your butt and that doesn't work. Okay so we're moving on to box number three. And box number three has this very cute top. It's a blouse material. It's cropped but not super cropped. It has like the wide arms and the drawstring on the back. This was also very hard to get. It was sold out every time I checked. And the price is $19.95. Putting these jeans on over these biker shorts just to prove the point. I think I would have liked this better if I was blonde. Detail on the back that you can cinch your waist is amazing. The broad shoulders. Man, I need to get a tan though. Look at that. I stopped tanning so I am super pale but I did order a lot of self-tan supplies so I hope that that'll come in soon then I can wear this because right now I'm too pale for this, but I do really like this top. I didn't know the back was open. It is this shoulderless thing going on, a shirt top. I love the material. It's like a crepe material. I got it in a medium, but it looks quite small, so I don't know how that's gonna work out. The price is $39.95, so I better love this, otherwise this is going back. Oh, but that's interesting. So you have both here a zipper, God knows why, by the neck. Oh, maybe if your head's not that small, I guess. And a zipper on the side. Okay, so this is one of these things that I really like it, actually, but I know this is not made for my body type. I'm going to tell you why. Now, from the front, it looks nice, right? The neck has a really nice neckline, and the other sleeve is beautiful. I really like the sleeve the material it is fantastic it is a really good quality shirt however this is obviously made for someone with a size a or b cup if you feel comfortable for it go for it i mean if i would feel comfortable wearing this i definitely would because i think it is awesome but for me to want to wear something with this open of a sleeve i would want to have a bra because now I'm scared my boobs gonna pop out of the side. However, I can't wear a bra because if I wear a bra, then you'll see it here. This The back is beautiful, but the back is beautiful for people who don't need something to hold the front. I might keep, I don't know, man. I have to figure it out. If there's a way that I can get these situated that I don't have to risk it falling out, then I would love to keep it. Material really, it's a really good quality. Like it's worth the 40 bucks, I think 40 bucks, right? I think, I believe so, 39.95. It's something that you can definitely use when you go out and stuff, but for me, it's just a little too much fun. <laughs> but the next thing is something that you've probably seen everywhere on Instagram. It's something that I had to try. It is a white skirt with a ruffle on the front. I like skirts that have the ruffle on the front because that's where my belly is and that's like the hardest thing to cover and this is a size medium I got it in and this was also $39.95 so it is I mean it, yeah it's not the cheapest skirt they have but the quality is nice however I am scared it's going to be a little see-through I don't know what's happening like you know the problem is it's a beautiful skirt 
It really is. It's very nice. However, I will show you a picture here. For my body type, because I have a hourglass body type, when this goes wide, the bottom should go a little tighter. Because if it just stays wide, like it does with this, then I just look like a sack. So I don't want to look like a sack, so this won't work. However, I do love the ruching in the front. I think the ruching is very pretty. I love this outfit altogether. So I'm going to honestly have to ask feedback from my mom to see what she thinks because I don't really know what to do. I do really like it. I do think it needs maybe some alterations. Um, it is a little bit thicker than I thought it would be. I don't feel like, I mean, I still would wear a pair of, like a pair of white shorts under it or something, but it's not as thin as I thought it would be. So that is a good thing. And I do feel very fashion forward. The last thing out of this box is another skirt. It's already so wrinkled. I like that it's like elastic band. It's a satin skirt. The skirt says it's 40 bucks, but I got it on sale for 20, I believe. I really like that it's like the champagne. Yeah, it's like this champagne color. It's beautiful. Oh, this would be such a good backdrop. So I'm gonna try this on. Now this one I like. This is very me. I think a satin skirt looks so classy, especially a color like this. I think you can also wear in the fall, which is great. Yes, you do see a little bit belly action going on, but you know what? If I can't love this belly, then nobody will, so. Here's a full length video of it. I love this, I mean, except for that it's super wrinkled right now. The quality is amazing, it's very thick. My other skirts that I have has a lining under it. This one doesn't have that. However, it is already double lined when they knitted it. This purple one, for example, I got from H&M last year. What I really liked about this was that it had an extra liner in it. I still think you should wear something under it, but it is beautiful. All right, so we're at the final box. I just opened it, so let's pull out the first thing. Oh, another skirt. This is a, a, a different skirt, however, so we got three different types. This is a ruffle skirt in black. I do, I was looking for a skirt like this. I owned one in yellow. I can post it here. I mean, I like the skirt, but because it was yellow and I'm not really a colorful girl, I figure black is more the way to go. And then this is also something I can wear in the winter. It does feel very nice. I like the quality. I like this one a lot better than the yellow one. It feels very nice. It also looks very expensive in the camera. The price of this one was $29.95 and I got a size medium. I feel like such a lady, except for that my boobs hanging out. Anyway, yes, I like this skirt. I like the length, I will show you again here. If you're going to buy stuff at Zara or H&M or any kind of high street, make sure the quality of the item is worth your purchase. So it might look like I have a whole lot of stuff I ordered, but I really don't order a lot of clothes often anymore. I try to do it in bulk, so it's easier for me to like compare. Um, and I really try to focus online on the fabrics that it's named so I knew kind of what I was getting when it came. If you are interested to like know what to look at and how to search for your things, please let me know. I can do an entire video on that too. Yes, I'm definitely keeping this one. Olé! Anyway, the last thing is this white beautiful blazer. It is the infamous blazer that was sold out every, every time. Another thing that I got at 4 a.m. with the belt. So I'll try it on in a second. It feels very heavy, which I appreciate, but I figured it will be a little slouchy just because it's one, it, you have the belt to wrap around, so it can't be structured blazer. But I do appreciate that it has some padding in the arms. I got it in a size medium, and it says it was 60 euros, but I got this on sale as well, so it'll be linked down below. I'm actually pleasantly surprised with, I didn't expect it to be this oversized, which I really like with denim or with, you know, like this kind of outfit, I would like it to be just a little slouchy and a little bit large. I also like that it's heavy. It doesn't feel cheap. The button is very pretty, if you can tell. Now, if I were to actually tie it up, I wouldn't do that with a pair of pants. I would probably have like something less covering here and maybe a skirt or something, or a dress. I don't think it looks nice like this. I can already show you, I will ne you will never see me walk outside like this. This is not flattering for my body type. But because I have a larger upper side and hips, 
this already you know it just makes it extra and if i have jeans under there or pants it doesn't look as flattering as you'd hope it will this would look very nice if you're again a lot more petite than i am and otherwise wearing it open is amazing i i really like this those were all the things that i purchased today i hope it gave you some idea of what is in stores right now everything again is linked down below please let me know if you like these kind of videos so i have an excuse to shop more i hope you enjoyed this video if you did i would love it if you give it a thumbs up or subscribe down below and i'm open for any suggestions so if there's anything you want to see please let me know and that's it so thank you so much for being here thank you for watching this video i hope you have a wonderful day morning evening afternoon midnight whatever you're having oh it's wonderful and see you next time